Hello everyone and welcome. I forgot to close my door. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Cinema Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer today. Today I went to Michael's. Okay. And I placed an order on Michaels.com for pickup in my local store. And that's what this bag is. And Michaels likes me so much, they gave me my own little bin with just my name in it. Now usually when you place an online order at Michaels, they have this bin up at the front and it will say A through R, not R, I'm R, <laughs> A through Z, and like it will have some extra bins at the bottom and it will have bigger spaces for like bigger orders. And very often I go in there, I find the letter R and my name is under there because my last name starts with an R. So I go find the R bin, come back out, I got my order, I'm happy. Well, I looked in the R bin, the R bin was empty, as were most of the bins. So I was like, okay. They gave me my own little bin. They wrote just my name on it. So I had the whole bin to myself. <laughs> I was like, oh, they gave me my own bin. But before that, I went to the back of the store because if you guys recall the last time I went to Michael's, there was nothing. The clearance aisle was empty. Half of the regular aisles were empty. The yarn aisle was certainly empty. Like, the store was empty. And so I'm like, let's see if they added some yarn in. And sure enough, they added yarn in. So I had to buy yarn while I was there to pick up my yarn because new yarn equals yarn reviews. New yarn equals happy gen. New yarn equals a video for you guys to watch. So that's where we are. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Now, what did I order? What did I order? My order was just for this yarn. That's all I wanted. I wanted, this is the Loops and Thread Carousel Twist. Carousel Twist. I just finished filming a review putting this up against the carousel yarn from Joann's. And the fact that I didn't buy more of the Joann's yarn and I bought more of the Loops and Threads Carousel Twist tells you which one I prefer but still watch that video anyway because it's entertaining it's interesting to talk about the differences between different yarns I give you some other suggestions for alternatives to the Joann's yarn because I didn't really like that a whole lot so this is the loops and threads carousel twist it's in the color birthday cake which loops and threads has changed their labels and the color name used to be by the QR or the uh not the QR code I had the same problem in the last video. I couldn't remember which one was what. Barcode. The name used to be by the barcode. They have moved the color name now and it's by the QR code. <laughs> and if you scan this QR code with your phone, it will take you to Michael's website and hopefully show you patterns. I have yet to try that. I am hearing what sounds like a screwdriver, like a drill in the front yard. <sighs> How rude of them to make noise while I'm trying to film a video. I'm going to open my cameras up and see who's making noise so I can go yell at them. No. <laughs> the neighbors across the way are um, getting their driveway replaced and there's construction workers and I'm at the front of the house. I, I get all the noise. Anyway, I just purchased some of these because I want to make myself something, a garment. This is 100% acrylic. It's a bulky number five. It is gorgeous colors. Just beautiful, fun, springtime colors. I essentially would love to make myself a cardigan. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that because time constraints and I don't know that I have the time to make myself a cardigan right now. I have other things that are on deck that I actually need to work on, not just want to work on. I'm going to put some lotion on my hand. I'm feeling really crusty. Um, I'm all dried out from that last review. <laughs> and I don't know where my... Oh, it's back there. You guys see my Aveeno is back there? So, I bought five of those because I already had one back there in this green bucket right here. I have one in this color already, birthday cake. Um, I got five more because well, six times 
two is a hundred. It'll be about thirteen hundred. About thirteen hundred yards. I don't know that that's that's definitely not enough to make myself a cardigan, but I might be able to make myself something. Even if it's just a little bla baby blanket or something. Like I want to make something out of that yarn because it's so pretty. All right, now what did I purchase when I was in the store? Now, first of all, I have had my eye on this yarn for a while. Ever since I first saw it came out. Oh, that's much better. Isn't that much better? <laughs> this is a new yarn from Loops and Threads. It is the Ombre Hues. It's super soft, especially with lotion on my hand. It's super soft. It's got a really beautiful halo on it. Almost like a mohair style halo. Like, and my camera is not picking up how much halo is on here. Let's see if we can get it to focus on my hand. Nope. There's a beautiful halo. It's very soft. Look at these pastel colors. Oh. This one is the color. Where is it? Lilac, marigold, and mint. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. They also had some that were variations with pinks and purples. And I mean, there were so many of these. So I got two in that color. Last time I was there, I was more drawn to the pink and purple. And I didn't have the money. And this time I was more drawn to the mint and lilac. And marigold. Absolutely beautiful. So soft. Um... This is a chain spun yarn. It kind of reminds me of the Karen, the Blossom Cakes, kind of, except this is a three weight. So it's like the Karen Blossom Cakes. It's like chain spun with that fluff on it. Absolutely beautiful, soft, luxurious feeling. Um, how many yards is in here? So this retails for $7.99. I paid $5.99 because it was on sale. I would pay $7.99 for this. I didn't because I didn't have the money, but like I would because it's gorgeous. Uh, it's 426 yards. So, oh, there's a little piece sticking out. Absolutely beautiful. This will probably be a shawl or a wrap of some sort because that's just what I'm feeling with this. It is 75% polyester, 25% acrylic, hand wash cold, non-chlorine bleach when needed, dry flat, do not iron. Because it's polyester, it will melt. Um, it will definitely damage those beautiful fluffs. So take good care of it. It's so pretty. Like... Do you see the way there's like kind of greens and then kind of purple? So it's like, I don't know how this is going to work up. I don't know if it's going to be a blend from one color to the next, but this stuff is so pretty. I wanted more colors, but kind of expensive at $7.99. <laughs> and I mean, I just purchased this desk and put it together. So that's my excuse. I would have bought more, but had been for my wallet. <laughs> my wallet said no. And then the rest of the yarn was buy, buy two, get one half off. Or buy one, get one half off. It was buy one, get one half off, which equates to 25% off, right? So I had to buy one to get one 50% off. And then I, it's really just 25% off, which is a normal sale price for that. It's not an extraordinary sale. It's literally just 25% off. So these ones are delicate DK, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I know what this yarn is. This is a rebrand. It is absolutely a rebrand. Um, let me pull up my Michaels app again so I can scan this. Because I know that my my receipt is somewhere in this bag, but I'm not seeing it. There it is, of course. Alright. These were $7.99. <clears throat> I 
I paid $7.99 for one, and I paid... <coughs> Why is it saying baby cuddles? I didn't get anything called baby cuddles, did I? No. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I just put two and two together. All right, I'll, I'll tell you that story in a minute. All right, so hang on. This this says is baby cuddles on the receipt. It says delicate DK, but I'm going to show you something because I, I have insider information. Hang on. All right, so back a couple years ago, Premier Yarns released a yarn called Chow Baby. This was the stripey version of the bloom yarn the dk version of the bloom which is has like the stripes with the the flowers this was premier yarns temporary version of the striped version of of bloom okay it is exactly the same weight the same it's the same yarn base as the bloom matter of fact if i recall this was also the same yardage like everything was exactly the same as the bloom except they released the chow baby as a limited time item now usually when premier puts chow on something like they have chow alpaca chow baby they're saying goodbye to that which they released it and then said goodbye they've done it several times is a temporary thing i don't know if they're still doing it as a temporary thing but like two three years ago that's what was happening it was chow baby and his baby yarn and they were saying goodbye to it even though they just introduced it it was on their website all of, I don't know, three, four months, maybe six months. I bought some because I knew that it was the same base as the, the Bloom yarn. And I love the Bloom yarn. It's a really soft, beautiful yarn. Okay. So then Michaels, the following season, I believe, not even the following year, released their loops and threads. They literally took this yarn same colorways that I had in stash slapped a new label on it and increased the price so this was going for $3.99 on Premier's website it was $7.99 I believe on Michael's at Michael's and in store I looked at it I go I have this exact yarn at home and I did a comparison but I don't think I have any more of the loops and threads version of it but it was Premier's it was this yarn with Michael's let me take a drink. My throat is really bothering me. It's the Premier Chow Baby with the loops and threads. I want to say it was Baby Cuddles yarn because that's what this label still says. Now, when I saw this, now obviously Michael's, okay, Michael started off with this big ball, $7.99, and then they made the yarn a smaller ball and kept the price the same the following year okay I, I'm, I'm fully aware because I love this base so I was watching when this came I was watching for it and it was the same name and everything same colorway and everything they just made the ball smaller kept the price the same so I was like I see you Michaels I see you right <laughs> so when I saw this colorway this is actually a different colorway I didn't have this colorway of the chow baby so when I saw this I was like oh and they changed the name. You guys see that they changed the name? Now it says Delicate DK. And I fell in love with this colorway. Because, like, I love pinkies and coralies. And the purple with it is just stunning. So I bought two of them. Because I fell in love with it. I was like, oh, new yarn. Because it's got the new name on there. Right? <laughs> the receipt confirms that it's still the cuddles. Their programming still has ch not changed. Michael's has not changed what it says in their, their system. Okay? So, I'm looking at this one, and I fell in love with it. I was excited. Ooh, new yarn. And above this, with the same label, was this colorway of it. And I picked it up. I was like, Michael's pulling a fast one. Michael's is pulling a fast one. So, this retails for, you guessed it, $7.99. This size at Michael's was $7.99. It was $3.99 on Premier's Yarns website, though. So, I mean, you better believe I stocked up. <laughs> so, yeah. 
The difference between this size and this size is this is a 200 gram skein. This is a 113 gram skein. Make that make sense. They had to put that extra 13 grams in there for you. This one was 557 yards, 315 yards, so they cut the yardage in half and kept the price the same. And now they got this new label and new name on it, and people aren't going to know, and they're going to buy it. And It's just funny. And it's the name of the game. It's marketing. It's the way things work in the world. Like, prices go up. I realize this. But it's still entertaining and humorous to me. So $7.99, I paid, I already told you, I paid $7.99 for one. I paid $3.99 for the second one. This is a lightweight number three. Recommends four millimeter crochet hook and or knitting needle. I already told you. This is the color. I didn't even see that. All right. So the color in American language is gumdrop, but the color in the French side of the label is jujube. And I didn't realize that. And that's my daughter's name. Look at GGB. That's cute. I didn't even know that. All right, so this is the color GGB, and it will forever be GGB. So I bought those because I really I fell in love with the color. And you had to laugh because I already know that I like the yarn base because I already have some of it, and it it is beautiful yarn. It's really soft. It's got luxurious drape on it. I give that a ten out of ten. It's a really good yarn. So then I see th this color. Okay. This color was standing out to me. I think last year, I think last year or the year before, they had a version that was similar to this in another, it was another yarn. But I think it was the, um, what is their, what is Loops and Threads main yarn? Impeccable. The Impeccable came in colors like this, but except it had a lot of purple in it. It was like purple and yellow. And I think pink. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, sunshine, it's so pretty. <laughs> they only had three balls, though, and you guys remember, it was buy one, get one free, or not free, buy one, get one half off. So I had to throw in another colorway, which is still a pretty colorway, to get the 50% off, because, like, it's it's more worth it to do it that way. Because um, I'm including that when I buy this, it's not 50% off this one, it's 25% off both. That's the way I justify it in my head. It makes it make more sense. So I bought this and I'm like, oh, I've never seen this yarn before. This looks like puzzle. It looks like puzzle. It feels like puzzle. It's different colorways, right? So I was doing another yarn review where I was putting the carousel from that I just the first yarn I showed you. The carousel, I said I just recorded a video. I put the carousel from the carousel twist from Michaels up against the carousel from Joanne's. And in doing so, I went over there because I was comparing the one from Joann's to Puzzle with the way the colors worked up. It's not, it's not a substitute for Puzzle. Don't even try. So I went over there to grab what I thought was my Puzzle. And I grabbed this one because I thought this was Puzzle. Don't know where this came from. Don't remember buying this. It's the Impressions yarn. But I really think this is just relabeled for bear yards. Or really similar. So I was shocked because I was like, I didn't I don't think I've ever heard of impressions. I don't shop Michael's Loops and Threads brand very often because a lot of times I'm finding that it is either relabeled from Premier Yarns. <laughs> And I get better prices for Premier Yarns because I'm I'm a shopper. I earn rewards. I like, I mean, we know why I shop from Premier. We know this. Um, so I don't really pay attention to the loops and threads. I also don't like the impeccable. I think it's rough and it doesn't feel real nice. And so I kind of steer away from loops and threads. But I'm starting to second guess, like, going down that aisle and looking at all the loops and threads after this. Um had no idea this was in my stash i think i may have purchased this on accident thinking it was a puzzle because tell me that's not a puzzle knockoff or a puzzle relabeled right i mean right now 
I didn't realize when I bought this last night, I had one in stash already. Matter of fact, I would absolutely put these two together. So I think it was kismet that I found this one. And there was only three of these. And my battery is about to die. I've been talking too much today. So because I could only buy three of these, I bought this color. And I just happened to have a color that would go with it at home. I mean, it's perfect. But I'm going to change my battery before it dies. You can hear I'm getting really congested. Maybe I need to shut up and go drink some hot tea, right? I'll be right back. In case any of you see this mark on my nose and are curious what happened, Bentley jumped on my face. <laughs> I was playing with him last night and I collapsed on the bed. I fake died. And I was testing to see what his reaction was if I just collapsed down. And I collapsed down and he spazzed out and he jumped onto the bed and onto my face with his claw. And he clocked me pretty good. Like... I told Mr. Cinema, like, I think I'm going to have a black eye. Because <laughs> he caught me across the eye like that and landed fingernail into my nose. I really think the dark circles are not helping, but... <laughs> I, sometimes I'll be in the light and I'll be like, okay, dark circles. No dark circles. Dark circles. <laughs> this, folks, is why lighting is so important. <laughs> It makes all the difference whether you look like you haven't slept in three days. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I think it was total kismet that I got this color because it goes with this color. And I totally will put them in. I know that I'm, I'm going to put these together on the shelf as a matter of fact. So this is the old impressions label. This one is the color amethyst. Which I was convinced was puzzle over there with the rest of my puzzle yarns. And then this one is the color... blue raspberry which is my favorite flavor of anything most of the time when you see me drinking out of my big pink cup it's got blue raspberry water in it yeah those go together and they're gonna go together Ooh, there's more green on the inside i love that that's so pretty and i think i took the last one of this and i took the last three of this one so this gorgeous beautiful beautiful colorway is saltwater taffy and if I can get my hand on a couple more of these I'm going to because I want to make something out of this and because I have a large body I need more yarn than like a size small person would need so I may actually place an order for a couple more of these just so that I can make myself something whether it be a blanket or a cardigan or a sweater I definitely want something in this yarn because it's gorgeous it feels just like puzzle <clears throat> it feels just like puzzle it's got the same soft squish it's got that beautiful same twist and this color is everything and if premier yarn would just release this in the puzzle i would buy 800 skeins of it because that's me you know what this reminds me of is the sky so you ever have one of those just beautiful perfect days the sky is this color and the sun starts, starts to set. Cue the sun. And the sky fades from the blue to this beautiful pink color. I know you've all experienced that. This is a sunset. And I know some of you are going to disagree. There's even a little bit of orange in there. Right here. That's more of an orange. And that's just beautiful. I'm kind of obsessed with this color. I just want to like paint the entire world these colors and just stare at it. <laughs> so, did I tell you what this yarn was? It's a bulky number 5, 100% acrylic. It's exactly like the Premier Puzzle. If you've never tried the Premier Puzzle, highly suggest you but try it. This yarn is nice. Um, these retailed for $8.99. Um, I paid $8.99 for one and $4.49. For the other one, yeah, definitely worth $8.99 because I think the puzzle, you can get the puzzle cheaper at Walmart. Um, puzzle is one of the ones that is widely available. Like almost every Walmart I've ever been to has Premier Puzzle. Premier Puzzle yarn. 
It is, ooh, it's $12.99 in Joann's or $7.79 with a coupon. It's $5.98 regular price at Walmart. It's $7.99 at Hershner's. This stuff is $8.99, but it's 30% off right now. So it's $6.29. And that's at um, Michael's. Yeah. And then... I think through premiereyarns.com it's I think it's $8.99 or $7.99. $7.99. And these are all the colors that they have of the puzzle. And with all these beautiful colors, they still don't have this. <laughs> Why, Premiere? Why? And they do have they do have some beautiful colors. And I have made blankets with the Premier Yarns. I love making blankets with Premier Yarns. Um, I ha There's not much I haven't made with the, the puzzle. And this is basically the puzzle. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to love it. I didn't even got to work up a swatch to know that that yarn is everything. And I want some more in that color. So may have to wait till next paycheck, but I'm going to have some more of that. Because much like the Carousel yarn, the Carousel Twist... Matter of fact, I wonder if I could put those in a project together. They have the same colors in them. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. They're both a bulky five. And they're both really soft. It does not take much to impress me. It did, well, yes, it does. It doesn't take much to make me happy. I'll say that. Um, Mr. Cinnamon took me to pick up this order. I had no idea I was going to buy all this other yarn. I didn't have a clue. I knew I wanted to look at this. I didn't even know that these existed. So, and last time I went, like I said, my Michaels was, it was empty. Um, I need to put some of these back on the shelf because... I've been pulling stuff off for these videos. <laughs> like I, I gotta remember to put them back. And I told Mr. Cinnamon, I was like, I don't need more yarn. I don't. We know this. I have yarn still out that needs to be put away or put in something. But honestly, it makes me so happy. And I also have a big donation pile started. So you guys know, like us podcasters we run our channels and we all run our channels different ways me personally i run my channel i do yarn reviews okay so i will buy like this yarn that i don't really like that will either be worked into a hat or it will be in the donation pile because i don't really care for it but if i buy a yarn for the purpose of a, of a review i already have made my money back by making the video and a lot of times the money I make off the channel goes right back into purchasing yarn. So it's like a cute little cycle that goes. So I'm not actually spending real money. <laughs> this is girl math, okay? Um, and the old saying, you got to spend money to make money and all that good stuff. So for me, it's a business thing. So I'm buying inventory for the business. Sometimes I donate it out if I don't find that it is something worthy to make a pattern with or to make some Like a lot of times when I'm designing I'm designing stuff to either show you or come up with more ideas for Tutorials for the channel So it all makes sense and works out and I get a lot of comments where people are like I wish I could I could buy yarn like you do and I wish I could I had the yarn stash you do it doesn't make sense for the average person to have the yarn that a podcaster has. So don't compare. Don't feel bad. That's not normal. <laughs> like, this is my office. This is, all of this is work. Um, the, is it enjoyable to me? Absolutely. But I don't want anybody to ever look at these videos and feel pressured to buy yarn. Or feel, I'm just showing you because... These are options on the market in case in the future we decide we're going to use these for something. Or here's my opinions on these yarns. You might want to check them out for your next project. And sometimes we get caught up in the FOMO and like I got to have what everybody else has. Like everybody else is buying this yarn. I got to have it. And it, it gets us into a, a bad cycle of things, you know. And I don't want anybody to financially destroy themselves because they have to have all the yarn Cinnamon Stitches has. Because it's just not reasonable. Um... 
I filter through my yarn a lot. I When I decide I'm not using it, I donate it. Or I give it to somebody who's going to love it. Or, like, I sometimes will do mystery boxes and, and give it out to you guys and have you guys, you know, purchase the yarn for whatever reason. But I donate a lot back out because... I don't always love all of the yarns that I buy. And sometimes I'll start working with it and be like, oh, it was beautiful, but I hated working with it. And I don't waste my time on yarns that are less than. <laughs> I don't. Because I have too many sensory issues, skin issues. So um, just keep all of that in mind when you watch these haul videos for me or anyone else. Um, and use your best judgment on the yarn like go and if you can get to the store feel the yarn before you purchase it because even though i love it you might hate it and that's just the fact of the matter is i thought i was gonna love this yarn from joann's got it ordered it mm, i'm glad i only ordered one because i could <laughs> no sir so with that i hope you enjoyed the entertainment value of me showing you these yarns i purchased um this is definitely going to be in a project for myself probably not until months from now which means i have to order some now in preparations for making myself i would really love a sweater out of this or a cardigan like a big oversized cardigan but i'm gonna need way more than three and my store only had three so it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty I don't know why color makes me so happy, but it really does. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And uh, I hope you either learned something, especially about the, the baby yarn. I mean, I feel kind of ripped off when they cut the size of the ball in half and then charge the same price. Like, I feel ripped off. <laughs> Had I not discovered this was the same yarn by having the same color in this smaller ball. Had I not discovered it, I would have been like, oh, it's an amazing new yarn. You guys got to see... But no, now I feel ripped off because it's this yarn. And this yarn is fantastic. It's beautiful. It's soft. Um, I would absolutely pay $7.99 again for this. But knowing what I know about the history of the yarn, I feel ripped off. Oh, man. There's an, a fault in my yarn right there. I got so wrapped up in the color. And my even though my Michaels restocked and there's these new yarns that were not there, there was only two of these, and I bought both of them. There was only three of these, and I bought all three of them. So they restocked, but they didn't, like, restock, restock, if you know what I'm saying. So keep that in mind. Michaels is rebranding everything, and also, like I said at the beginning of the video, when I went to Michaels last time, which was, like, a week and a half, two weeks ago, the entire store was empty. They clicked, like, even right now, there is zero down the clearance aisle. And the clearance aisle is usually overflowing. And they have a ton of Christmas crap. It's just crap. 80% off. Mr. Sim is like, oh, look at it. And I'm like, we don't need that. We have a garage full of Christmas stuff we don't use. We have too much. Like, stop with the Christmas clearance. <laughs> it's February. <laughs> So I predict there will be mystery boxes at Michael's very soon because they cannot seem to clear the Christmas stuff out. Um, but I also noticed I took a trip around the entire store last night and not just the yarn has been re redone. Um, last year they did the same kind of thing where they emptied out Michael's and they put in new stuff and they got rid of like all the scrapbooks and scrapbook supplies and they put in kitchen utensils and like stuff for baking and cooking and i was like why would they do that and michael's back in the day in like the 90s was filled with baking stuff like cake supplies baking supplies and i thought it was a mistake last year when they did that because they were clearing out a lot of stuff that like i would use or buy they got rid of like a lot of the planner stuff and, I mean, I don't know what's going on with Michael's corporate. I don't know what they're actually selling versus what they're not on the grand scheme, the grand scale. I don't pay attention to any of that. But for me, I was like, it's a mistake to bring back all that bakery stuff that you couldn't sell in the 90s. Personal opinion, okay? And then, sure enough, that entire section is gone again. This year, they cleared out all the baking stuff, and they replaced it with, um, in my personal store, they replaced it with, like, spooled ribbon and I don't know what else 
um, but it was it was a different type of craft. They also have moved in a ton of soap making supplies that was not there before. Like they have a whole aisle. They also have a whole aisle of resin making supplies. So I think what Michaels is trying to do is follow trends. And they're trying to follow what people are doing right now. And resin is really popular right now. People are doing resin this and resin that. And so I think they're trying to bring in more of the that kind of stuff. They also put a lot more... Um, art supplies and stuff which is why they got rid of one of the aisles of yarn and I'm like so are people not doing yarn arts as much now because they're either buying it online or is everybody moving on to the next big thing because it's not COVID anymore so we're not all trying to crochet ourselves some clothes I don't know I don't know and then on that same note I've been watching um since yesterday I was I've been binge watching videos of people buying storage lockers and more and more of the storage lockers are having buckets of brand new craft supplies sewing machines fabrics and we already know those people bought that stuff during the pandemic and now they're like I never used it I don't know how to use this like it's in a storage unit that they didn't pay for <laughs> and so I'm, I'm gonna start I think we're going to start seeing more of more of that stuff just coming back into the market via thrift stores and stuff like that. You're going to start seeing an influx because people are like, well, I didn't use this during the pandemic. I'm going to start getting rid of it because I think we're far enough past the pandemic now where people are starting to realize. And I'm seeing it on Mar Facebook Marketplace like, I bought all this yarn to try to learn to crochet during the pandemic. And they're selling it for a ridiculous price, like almost retail. Like, no, I'm not buying your used yarn for retail not gonna happen <laughs> my rule is for acrylic I won't pay more than two dollars for it used um for like wool wool is a different story like if you if you show me a beautiful skein like this is arcane fibers <laughs> if you show me a beautiful hank like this I will pay I would probably pay retail even if it was so in someone's stash for a while as long as it didn't smell because to me there's there's value in the hand dyed yarns more so than like the bulk acrylics um but I have even got some of this at a, a craft thrift for ten dollars not arcane fibers um but other yarns you guys remember that I need to follow them because there is a I didn't plan on talking this much in this video. I do apologize if I'm keeping you. <laughs> there is a store in, Fre not Fredericksburg, in Richmond, Virginia, that every year does um, a garage sale for their yarns. And they have all of their come and set up. I can't remember what the name of the store is. I want to say it's Have You Any Wool, but I don't think that's it. Dances with Wool. Go follow them on the Facebook. Dances with Wool. Follow them on the Facebook if you're local to to um, Richmond or close by because they Scarlet and Bentley's gonna pop the door open. They do oh, once a year. They do a um, a yarn yard sale. And I, I happened upon it last year when we went to go pick up a car for Juju's prom. Um, I happened upon it. And I was like, what? And I scored big. I got beautiful skeins and hanks of yarn for like $10. And I was like, ugh. Even 15 or 20 for some of that yarn, I would pay absolutely. So, Bentley came to bed. With that, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna stop talking. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Check out Michael's. They got all kinds of new yarn coming out. Bye, guys.